May you continue to shine like a diamond. All right, so Rihanna's dress, it was inappropriate, point blank, period. I was just kidding. Come on, come on. You guys know I was just kidding, right? All right, Berida, so, you know, this conversation is taking over Twitter, local Twitter right about now. It has to do with the dress, this dress, that Rihanna, the, the, the icon, the international pop star, wore to her, um, we call it the presidential inauguration ceremony um, in Bridgetown, Barbados. So she wore this dress. So where is the controversy stemming from? The article that Faye Ellington did with the Jamaican star. No, them basically go to her and ask her what them think of the dress. And Faye Ellington, um, this is what this is what the article reads. Let me just give you a little piece. So it says, um, at the ceremony, Rihanna, whose given name is Robin Fenty, wore an orange-colored silk gown. She seemingly wore no bra, and what appeared to be her nipples captured the imagination of many. It was most inappropriate, Ellington said when she was asked by the Weekend Star to comment on the pop icon's dress. She says that all of her boobs were just jumping up and down in the frock. Um, she then went on to say, <clears throat> <coughs> she might she may not have known that the announcement was going to be made and that she was going to be given the high honor of national hero but at the same time going into a function like that was inappropriate i know she's a, a pop culture icon and all of that but there is a time and place for everything no since the star did what the star normally do and made that into a headline People have been coming for Faye Ellington and you know basically coming for that stance. And I have to say, go on, go take up somebody else. Go have the conversation with no mother, with no grandparents, with no uncle and people. Mmm, and that me say. Go tell them all of the things them when 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 they wanna mention on Twitter. Because I guarantee that half of y'all saying some of these things would I never say to our face. Because how me, 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 I'm not saying that you can't be you can't disagree. But I don't want some of the little Gen Z and some of the millennial ex people try to want to size up to Auntie Faye. You get me? There's a way to disagree with people who might have a different opinion than from really like, than from putting them and making them look like say them are some little scrap metal with Dasher over Riverton City. Because she thought that, you know, um, Rihanna's dress was inappropriate. Wanna get the hell out of here with that man? Like I I I I I I I I boy I'm gonna like this. Yes. Oh, Talk to her and explain to her like why it wouldn't feel. This supposed to be a point now where we as examine and have the conversation about appropriateness because I, I do feel that there is an age gap. There is um, an old school thought and I, can, I don't think that the dress itself was inappropriate but I can understand the idea that the fact that somebody attended a formal event and didn't wear bra, a bra, can be, you know, can can probably trigger some and people might consider that it be inappropriate. Because I know if me go tell my grandmother says somebody will attend like all a, um, a graduation or, or go up to a parent teacher's meeting and the woman come up there without no brazier, I can understand that my grandma or my mother or persons in my family, they might consider say boy, you know, she couldn't wear a little, you know, a little brazier and you know whatever. That is that is that is that is how I understand it. So I can I can look at Faye Ellington's comment. Put it in context, this, this woman um, has worked at every probably um, big, major, formal, national event for over 30 years. And for one who come for Faye Ellington now and make Faye Ellington look like so she has some little butter ears to sit down in a little lane and a fight over scungy and set as with uno, uno don't have... Excuse me. What I'm going to say, and this is what I would say to, 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 to Auntie Faye, I'm like, I understand it. The, the idea of she not wearing bra and of course the movement me can't get it from where you're coming from based on how you've seen formal events is that at least at the beer at the, at the at the minimum level you wear you wear one little brazier me can't understand that because me know if tomorrow morning if Juliet Olness show up show up at a garden house and in a one skirt and never have a no underwear uno would have a field day a ratio her on Twitter and all over the same way. But we know so Rihanna get a pass because listen, I'm a fan of Rihanna, Rihanna look good. We, we, we used to Rihanna being edgy as that personality that pushes the boundaries, similar to a Madonna. And we know so Rihanna will get a pass because she is just Queen Riri. I am can't, can't factor that in so me I have my own bias because I just Rihanna. But I know say, 
maybe when Rihanna is 60 years old and she show up to one function and start to do the little things them like we say mother not do we're gonna, we're gonna probably want we see one we right now we talk about Riri yeah Riri we might say ah um, Rihanna you know realize say uh, your breast might not be at the same position anymore like you, you, you might need for cover up we, we might be saying the same thing for sure the interesting hypocrisy of how we are as humans so in, 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 in me disagreeing with Faye now um, it is not for me to say that the dress was inappropriate because if the Prime Minister of um, Barbados was okay with Rihanna entering the event and never said something for cover up that right there and then me and Motley is giving the cosign say it is appropriate for what we are doing right now you get me? and we should be so happy Serena never show up to the share it with, with um with um Serena never wear the little the little see through share share something where she did wear got a got a fashion event because can you imagine the conversation there so like these oh, that? that yes people are thinking really oh, that oh you are you serious yeah. but the conversation should be with how do we change our um no um define appropriateness especially when you want to put into like the the or african background and how oftentimes european standards have um have have shaped how we look at our own beauty and how we look at our our, 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 our ourselves how we express ourselves as black people that is a conversation we should be having because rena i mean rena was right up there and perky just like the statue of an emancipation center so you know i never really have a problem and Back to the fact that they say no, what I would say to Auntie Faye is that she comes from an older generation um, and she might have conservative views, especially when it comes to the formal occasions like that. I get it. I mean, it's just appalling. It, it sickens me. I woke up this morning, I was so in, in, a, in a rage about what they are doing. <laughs> <laughs> but, as I'm saying now, um, why we keep on, I lose my thought. I would say to Auntie Faye that um i get you i get what you're saying but for me i feel that rihanna but i feel that rihanna is a feminist and i feel like a part of her activism has always been celebrated by how she confidently you know um <laughs> presents herself wearing no bra I, I i this is not the first time and it won't be the last and i think when she made that decision i'm sure that has to do with her activism in terms of being body positive in terms of really celebrating her femininity and i think a part of that is is trying to also moving away from the notion where people police women's autonomy of how they um showcase themselves um and 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 how it has always been men for the most part that have contributed to how women regulate and um appear into the world and her freeing herself from you know taping this down or trying to hide this part of her femininity is what makes rihanna the icon that she is because she is really moving against the status quo in her own way and it is a part of her activism so for that on a momentous occasion for this person to you know to be mentioned as you know a national hero for her country i feel that i i am um, it is okay i can get it for ariana doing something like this clap if you care Clap if, you, clap if you care. Rihanna is the ultimate style rule breaker because she dresses for no one else but herself. Good time. Hey, Rihanna, you're Justin Bieber got in a little bit of trouble. Yes, I am. Why, my bother you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're covered in Swarovski crystals, girl. <laughs> she proves that incredible style can help take a talented young woman from a small island to the world stage and along the way, spark a lot of conversation about elegance and empowerment. Because we are now at a place in society where we are all about expression and, and trying to, 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 to reimagine what it is like to be our true selves without the European standards of beauty and operating hovering over our, our minds. That is where we're at. But and I am cognizant of the fact that there are others from the older school and just people who hold more conservative views that may disagree with that. But this is what life is all about. We can have these conversations and it will help us to really shape how we can move forward and to just live peacefully and, and, and amicably. 
that is what living is all about but so many people just want to jump in you know, and just racial people um when 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 it is convenient and you can get little likes comments or shares make sure you say it's really coming from a place that you're trying to have constructive dialogue that is all i have to say anyway burritos let me know if you agree or disagree with my stance i want to hear from the film from the gen z them the millennials them everybody from the parents i'd love to hear from you um the, the older school too i want to hear from your views um your views as well because i think this is a situation where we can all learn from anyway if you like the video make sure you say to the usual and just to hit thumbs up um leave a comment share the video subscribe as usual take care big up yourself anti fame big up riri and you stay a good self because of that some people don't like so you stay good and your thing still way up and stay up like Cardi B song <laughs> all right peace up let, 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 scratch that scratch that there are rules, but rules are meant to be broken.